Hello, 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 everybody. This is Dr. Steve, earlier craft doctor. And um, this video is another one from the Crafts You Print um, bumper kit. So I chose the uh, purple, purple Posy window set. Um, and I'm making a birthday card since my daughter was here the day I was creating. She seen her birthday card that I was making, so I'm making her a second one. She loves birthday cards, so this will just be an extra type thing for her. So what I did was I took my scan and cut, and I cut out the pieces um, on my scan and cut all of these pieces. I cut them out. So this is the original card base here, and th this measures um, five and a quarter by seven and a quarter so I made a card base out of a 12 by 12 and I made it five and a half by seven and a half just to give a little extra room in the card base um I was actually looking for some purple paper that I can mat layer this with and um and the ocean breeze kit is still in front of me and so I have this purple paper that I'm going to use and I'm just going to cut it um, to, to um, mat this on with. So um, I think, I think, I think, I think, yeah, let me pause you. Okay, so what I did was I cut this piece to five and a half by seven and a half so that I could have purple on the front and not... Um, white. So all I'm going to do is take this piece and I'm going to mat it right on here on the purple. And the reason why I want that extra coverage is because I'm going to use some glossy accents and I want it to have a little bit of a little bit more strength on this. Okay? So, okay, so um, because this is 12 by 12 paper and it's not a really um, a strong paper, heavyweight, it's 65 pounds. Okay, so that gives this some weight for me, what I want to do. Okay, this is the insert. And I printed this insert out because it already had the wording on it. And it says, hope a, here's a wish for happiness and many dreams come true, not only on your special day, but all your life through. And then they have these sending wishes. Thank you. Sending birthday wishes, which is I'm going to use a blank one, which I put her name on. Okay. And then I'm going to take this and mat it right on the inside of this. Okay. So <clears throat> I'm going to do it the way they normally do it. You put a strip right down the side. Because when you buy cards, um, they only have that little strip when they have, uh, they're double sided. And I'm going to close that up. And then now this flies, this is kind of free. That's how professional cards look if you ever notice them. There's one side always taped down and the other one is kind of free. Okay, so now that's this part. And then I'm going to take this part and I'm going to mat layer this decoupage piece on top of here. So I'm going to use my um, big roll of tape for this. And I'm just going to put this right on here. Something. What is? Oh, that's that piece I cut out. When I when you have light pieces like this, um, and you scan them through your scan and cut, sometimes you have to draw a black line across it because it's so light. The scan and cut won't pick it up, which is what I had to do. 
I had to draw a black line across the top of the roof line because my scanning cut just is just too light. It won't pick it up. Um, and so that was no problem. After I put that black line on there, I just went back and um, trimmed it right off. And that's just something you might have to do every now and again when you're using uh, light colors. You can up the opacity on your scan and cut, uh, and, it, and it works. I just was trying to do this without, because I knew I could cut that black line off, so it didn't really bother me. Okay, I'm kind of making sure that I put enough of this foam tape so this piece will not sink in because my daughter does keep her birthday cards forever she has always liked birthday cards and she keeps them that's why it's, it's a lot it seems like overkill but she will keep this and I don't want it to sink in anywhere I'll sink in that one spot. I, I remember when she was young, <clears throat> when she turned 21, we gave her 21 birthday cards, and she still has them, and that was 10 years ago. Actually, that was over 10 years ago, because she's about to turn 30, 32. Okay. So, now... Press that. Here is the headache. Taking these babies off. And generally, when I put a lot of foam tape, a lot of times it's just for the spacing of it all. But because I know she's going to keep these, I really want this to stick down. Because a lot of times the ones in the middle, I don't take out. I don't take them out at all. So even though you have a, a you know all this foam tape, you don't have to take every single strip off. Because a lot of time you use them not for the stickability, but for it not to sink in. This one and oh, I'm sorry. Ooh, one more. I'm trying to make sure I throw these strips in the trash so they don't end up on my floor. My little Roomba thing gets a workout. <laughs> okay. So, of course, you know, I reinforce my tape bits. I don't know if I'm the only person who does this, but I try to reinforce my tape bits all the time. And now I'm going to use this and decoupage this right on top of here just to give it a little bit of height. It's not going through the mail, so it's okay that um, it's okay that I decoupage this because it's not going to go th through the mail. Um, if I doubled it, I could have doubled it or something, but. I'm handing it to her with her, her gift. Lays down. And there is a roof line decoupage piece um, that's here, but I want to put her happy birthday there, so I'm not going to use that decoupage piece. But know for this kit that the roof does have a decoupage piece. Okay, I'm just going to cut a little bit, put right here, and because I have it, I'll take that little piece and put there, okay, put our little roll back up, and there we go, and this is turning out very beautiful. Um, the craft you print, once you download them, you um, actually 
on them forever and they have a very liberal um angel policy with them you can create as many cards as you want with the downloads okay and the last one and then I'm going to do my usual tape, extra tape. Okay, and I'm going to decoupage. And you can see how wonderful that scan and cut works because look how thin that is that they cut those little thin pieces out. But that's the decoupage there. And Happy birthday. Where, where did my happy birthday go? <laughs> oh, wait. Did it get on my tape? Oh, it fell on the floor. So I want to send birthday wishes here. And I want to put this here. Maybe here. Hmm. Because I also have this decoupage bowl that I'm going to include the bowl. And I'm going to use some, um, what do you call that? Glossy accents on our little bow. Okay. So I'm putting a little decoupage, I mean, um, pop dots on my bow. That is going to go right there. And then the sending birthday wishes is going here. Make sure that's straight. And Decided, should I put that there or should I put that there? I think I'll put it at the bottom. Put it here. I think that is so cute. And that is the card you print, and you can see the the decoupage here it's not that high and it's several layers there and this is what it looks like on the inside okay and then I'm going to take I'm gonna take my glossy accents and I'm going to put it on my bow so my bow can be shiny I think that just adds a little something to it. Very pretty. There's a little flower right here. I'll put some glossy accents on that one. And this little purple piece here because there's no jewels going on here. <laughs> okay, so the Crafts You Print card. I think that is very cute. All right, thank you so much, everybody, and I will see you in the next one.